In sweet name of Jiraiya, why do I have to talk about this trash? Here I go! Alright, bring it on! Alright, what's good everybody out there on YouTube? This is your man Shaddock Stick dropping some hot frog on this mic. And today we're gonna be talking about Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Shinobi trash. That's what this game is going to be. Now, if you guys didn't know, I am a longtime Naruto fan. Do I do I find the series to be very good? No, I find it to be very mediocre, but I enjoy it and it's I think it's very enjoyable to watch and read, whatever, nonetheless. But Let's put, put aside just you know the anime and stuff and let's talk about the Naruto games. Now the Naruto games over the past few years, or at least within the Naruto gaming community, I don't know how to uh, uh, call, uh, what to call it, uh, for the past few years or so have not been so great. They fail to deliver on one part of another, but Shinobi Strikers goes beyond the Naruto series of games. Shinobi Strikers is everything wrong with the anime game space or industry i guess this game is unfinished unpolished and is just a broken mess now many people may say oh shattuck you're judging it based off this beta a beta that is less than one month out of the games really or a little bit under one month out of the games or, or over i guess i don't know of the game's release date so you're sitting here telling me that this game should be playing like this when we're a month out from its release date you are ridiculous nobody should be shooting for this game first of all now second of all i'm gonna talk about the actual problems this game has all right the first issue i like to point out is the I, I just guess the look of the game like while I, the graphics have improved greatly and i like the style they're going for it isn't executed at every level what do i mean by this the environments look great like when i say the environments look really really good and it, and it looks sort of like a colored manga that's what it looks like it looks like a co colored manga panel and i really think that's cool but when you look at the characters Half of them, though, you, you half of them don't look like they're from the same game. Any character with lighter skin gets blown out when they're put into light, and any character with dark skin just turns into an amorphous blob of darkness when they're put in shadows. Like, I don't know what the team was thinking with the graphics engine when they were doing this. Like, it, it's like in videos, it may not be represented as well, but when you're playing the game for yourself, it's really, really noticeable. And that's not to say that the game doesn't look great at to some degree it's just that the character models are so underdone like it, it's ridiculous how they look right now like this game needs another delay the second thing i want to talk about is hit detection because hit detection in this game is trash people used to complain about xenoverse i was like this isn't the worst hit detection in a video game that i've seen this is some of the worst hit detection in a video game that I have ever seen. Jesus Christ. The developers should actually be ashamed of themselves. Bandai Namco should be ashamed of themselves for advertising this steaming pile of dookie. Half the time when you're trying to hit someone, you don't know if you're actually hitting them. It takes the game a while to register, oh, you've hit this person, so then they just start flying back rapidly. There's no heed or warning to what your actions are doing. The next thing I'd like to talk about is just the collision in general. Because when you're trying to do this chakra jumping crap, it's, it's just weird. You hit the surface, but it takes a minute for your character to basically retach. It's, it's not game lag. It's like, it's like the game doesn't recognize that you're touching a surface. And this was evident once I played the tutorial. Like, Jesus Christ, I was just like, is this supposed to feel like this? Is it supposed to be all kind of jank? Like, they had the right idea for this game. Like, like I could tell they wanted to make something great. It's just that this game is just, tr 
it's trying to be Xenoverse and it's trying to be a rushed Xenoverse. Like Xenoverse, the Xenoverse series of Dragon Ball games, I think are some of the most well executed anime games we've had in the past like eight years. And Shinobi Strikers is gonna poop all over that. Now on top of this, for a game that allows us to move on both the walls, the se on wall ceilings and you know, everything in the world, the camera is just utter trash. It's not a problem of, let's say, um, I, I guess just you moving around. It's a general problem of the game not being able to track characters. So the game has a lock on system because in a heat of combat, you could get really confused on who you're attacking or if you want to attack a certain person. So what the game allows you to do is lock on to specific people. The issue with this is you can't necessarily choose someone. Like the, it's like a toss up game of having the game hopefully choose the person you're trying to fight. There have been many times where there would be a character right in front of me and the game just would not register them as a lock on. It would, it would legitimately register someone all the way across the map that I couldn't see on the screen at all. That's through buildings. Like I, I didn't understand it. It genuinely upset me. Like, like it's so depressing. Like while I'm in the midst of battle and I'm like, oh, I want to lock on to this person because they're trying to move around me. What happens is the person still, right, the person's still in front of me, but I lock on to someone completely different. The camera pans to that person and then I just lose track and I die because because I can't look at the person I was actually attacking. And then the moves in the game have this weird auto tracking. So it, it sometimes it tracks and hits people. Sometimes the moves don't. There's no sort of auto camera in the game. So it's you, the player, always panning the camera to hopefully hit your opponent. It's overall just not a nice experience. On top of this, the way they kind of try to balance the game is really awkward. So if you choose a master, which are like the actual characters from the series, you cannot change them during battle, which I'm, I'm fine with it. That's completely uh, legitimate because some of them feel they're just busted. They're strong as all be out. And then you have your karate character, which you can change types mid battle. They can do at some of the typings the moves are just as busted if not more busted than the other characters like i thought yamato was really broken in the range characters jutsu's the fireball crap literally I, I i was playing a game and my entire team was in the middle and we all got wiped out because legitimately a yamato came up built his little dome and then every uh, the rest of the team was just ranged so they they just unleashed fireball jutsus to to, to all get out it, it was the most busted thing i've seen in an anime game in a while like it that game was more busted than dragon ball fighter somehow jesus christ naruto to boruto shinobi striker is everything wrong with the anime game industry it shows the lack of polish the lack of time and how money hungry these companies are to make a quick buck off of a strong ip despite how i feel about the naruto series quality overall it's a popular series that is dear to many and it helped to pave the way for a popularity of anime and manga in the west this game deserves far more than what it has and it's disgusting that this game is so bad i was genuinely like i had hopes for it. i had hope for this game i didn't have like super high hope high hopes but I, I had hope but this game came out to be this amalgamation of just trash and garbage hopefully the developers of this game see this video because this is horrendous i don't know who put you on this game but you need to be taken off and put on a smaller project nothing of this caliber because you obviously cannot execute it at least yet all right guys this has been your man shattic stick uh tell me how you feel about shinobi striker if you played the beta or if you're planning on playing the beta i'd say play the beta just because of what i say you shouldn't just build your opinions off of what i say you should genuinely just go play it for yourself but i i, I would not advise buying the game if you if you do not like the beta because there's a month there's um it's a month out it's gonna be trash because there's no way they can recover from something like this hey at least the servers work but again this has been your man chat sick don't forget to comment like and subscribe we're out of here peace hot fraga turns to cobla zaga go chill out with some other videos peace kiss kiss